Okay, well, with the new year here, people are always aiming to get healthier and start off the new year in the best way. So there's this new show that I am just like amped about. So yesterday, Netflix released this brand new series called You Are What You Eat, A Twin Experiment. I saw this. It was like recommended to Netflix. Yes, yes. Going. It's yeah. so fascinating the way they're doing it. So basically, there's some researchers, I believe in California, that decided to take multiple sets of twins, put them on the exact same eight-week health journey or whatever you want to call it. The difference is, though, is that one twin will be on a plant-based diet the entire time while the other is on a meat-based diet. Okay. So they're kind of, I think, more or less trying to figure out, like, does it really make a difference which diet you're on? And also, can you achieve the same goal while being on a plant-based diet? That makes so much sense. Plus, now um, seeing these clips, I was a little concerned it was like kids. I'm like, what no, parents it's actually adults. said yes. this is cool to do? No, that sounds really interesting. Yeah. Um, the, the thing I love about it most is, one, you see the twins, like, um, because the which diet you get is randomly assigned, you don't oh, get to pick. Okay. But each twin set has such a um, specific... Like, they're both so different on how they want it mm -hmm. to happen. And, like, some people actually really want the plant-based diet because they don't care about meat so much. Right. So then if the other gets it, they're, like, super upset. That would be bad. But what's so interesting is, so I say health journey and not just diet because they are set up with, like, some fitness instructors and other people to make sure right. they're really going on a full health spectrum rather than just, just you know, eating, eating right. Yeah. Um, and the trainer that they're set up with, he actually says that he's only ever eaten plant-based because growing up, that's how his parents were. They never ate meat. And he's just as bulked out as any other kind of, you know, big workout guru. So nice. he's like proving this point that you don't need to consume all of this large amount of meat or whatever, you know, yeah. that people's kind of the stereotypes that are out there in order to achieve your, your workout weight goals. So I like it. It's so very interesting. Which would you rather have if you had to choose? I feel like, like, um... Ugh, I don't know, probably the meat base, but the plant base would be an interesting challenge. Yeah. Because I'd be willing to try both. I don't know. I mean, if you trust the experts that are doing it, why not? Yeah, you know? Exactly. So good and show. Check it out on Netflix. Couple episodes out now. All right. Awesome. Also, a brand new adaptation of The Color Purple is currently in theaters, and Oprah was not only a lead actress in the 1985 film, but is also now serving as a producer on the new version. So before we get into this, because I have a lot of thoughts, look at the teaser for a brand new documentary called Oprah and the Color Purple Journey. Picture is up. Let's get everyone in position. This was the greatest desire of my life, to be able to bring this reimagined iteration to a new audience. All right, let's go in for the color purple. It's been almost 40 years, so it is completely full circle to be sitting here with you. We're still doing it, can you believe it? It's so exciting. <laughs> All right, lock it up, here we go, everybody, settle. Oh, let's shoot one. Shoot one. Shoot one. This color purple is a reimagination, not a remake. This one's for our generation. Sophia, Sophia! It's such a huge role to take over. You made it a little easy for me. Every one of you has been chosen from something that we all know is divine. Every time you walk in, you bring it. But so much fun. Look who's wearing the pants. <laughs> nah. I, you know, I keep telling people, it's not your mama's color purple, but your mama gonna like it. She gonna love it. <laughs> I have not seen this film yet, yeah. but something like this gets me excited to see it. Yeah. And here's the thing. Um, I love that he said this is not a remake, it's a reimagination or however you yes. phrase it. I thought that was important because a lot of the people that are involved in this were involved in the original film back in 85. But I think what's so intriguing to me about it is the press that's been around it. So there is um, all the actors that have been affiliated with the mm -hmm. film have spoke so highly of their experience. I listened to a podcast yesterday with Taraji P. Henson, who's one of the leads, and she literally says this role changed her life and she got it at the perfect time in her life to play the character that she was assigned to. And um, also just seeing how excited Oprah is to be a part of this again, but in a much right. different way. You know, I don't, it's just very, do you know much about the film or what are your, kind of your thoughts I on it? I don't know a ton of it. Um, I feel like as a theater mom, I should know more about <laughs> the color purple. The main stuff that I've been hearing is that people are really upset. Interesting. That it was, or not upset, but maybe they went in not realizing it was a musical yeah. and that it was a real 
reimagination and not okay. just a remake. That's interesting. That's just kind of the buzz. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I haven't heard that, but I really appreciate that opinion. I will say with the music, I don't know much about the music of the show, but Fantasia's role, um, she plays kind of the lead. She has a song called, I believe it's called I'm Here, which is like the big song from The Color Purple. And I have heard that that will like give you goosebumps from oh, head to toe. Like it's just amazing. Wait. I've seen videos on TikTok in there. Um, What's it called? Like the read through or whatever. The yeah. I can't remember the term right now. But anyway, during that, I mean, it's just like the whole cast is in awe of her every time she sings it. So I think this is really something to check out. I wouldn't. I mean, award season's just right around the corner. Wouldn't be shocked if we see this film go up for multiple different oh, kind of nominations wonderful. or whatever. It'd be really cool to see. So I love that.